conquer good, and I'm a little nervous about the first speaker that talked about stripping out the names. So I do think my last name was a little bit of an advantage, so I hope that doesn't strike against me later. Um, so I am the CMO, or Bullhorn, and we're the co-founders of PicMonkey. Uh, we are a web app. We're a photo editor. We are not the first photo editor, but that is okay. I don't think you have to be first to be successful. Um, and so I'm going to go into my brag book. Uh, we launched uh, a little over two years ago, um, March of 2012. We currently have 30 million um, visits per month. Uh, we have an average of over 20 minute session time. So people not only come and come often, they come and they stay, which is good for the ads business. Uh, we're currently ranked third on the GeekWire 200 list. Uh, we have over 2 million Facebook fans. And uh, to date, we've um, edited over 1.5 billion photos. Um, and we did that at a faster rate than Instagram got to their one billion. So I'm really excited and happy with that trajectory. Um, so how did we get there? Um, we certainly got there from building a product that was powerful and helpful, but we also did it by building a product that's fun. And I think that when you're in the consumer space, that's important. You need to solve a problem, but you also need to make it fun. Um, I am not a designer, and I do not pretend to play one on TV. But these are all things that very easily I can do and do quickly in PicMonkey, whether they're just photos or graphics. Um, and I will give you a demo because I can sit there and blather on about how great PicMonkey is, but it's really great to show you. Okay, I think you can still hear me. So that's still working, am I too short? Okay, so um, we will just go in and edit really quickly. PicMonkey has a lot of the basic edits that you expect from a photo editor, but it's the UI that makes it really great and really easy. <coughs> Let me make sure you guys have it. Nope, sorry. Um, and then we have lots of filters and effects. Um, but what's nice about PicMonkey is that there's a lot of fine grain control. There's one click effects, but there's a lot of slider bars to give you a lot of control. Um, and this is a web app, not a phone app. So this is for the photos that you really want to spend a little bit of extra time on and keep and keepsake and share and not just your transient ones. Uh, we have one-click effects, again, that are really based on camera and fun that you can erase off. So you can either paint them on or paint them off. And even some of our advanced tools are super easy with, uh, if you want the unfortunate photo bomber or inconvenient light pole, you can just Right now. So again, I don't have to know Photoshop. I don't have to spend hundreds of dollars. I don't have to go through a big fat manual. I can just do this really quick and easy. And then we have a touch-up suite. I'm not going to go into it, but this is really um, to make sure that everyone kind of looks photo ready with all the selfies out there. Get rid of the spinach in your teeth, maybe an unfortunate pimple. Um, uh, but we do caution, don't over edit. Friends, don't let friends over edit. We've all seen those train wrecks and we don't advise it. Uh, we have a design tool, so you can have great Facebook covers. Um, you can create flyers, things like that, just with a lot of um, one color. Um, add some text or overlay. You can also um, add your own overlays. So here I'm just going to go in and grab PicMonkey's logo, slide it over here. It's very easy. If I wanted to, I could change the color, slide it around. Um, and then add some text. Uh, in our text tool, you can either use the text that text that we've selected, our nice edited list, lots of them, or you can use yours. So if you have a great font on your desktop or on your computer, you can use those. So for example, I've clicked here, and now I have my Apple fonts. Uh, we have a whole series of overlays. So um, they range from business and serious to fun and silly, like facial hair. Um, so that's we have frames. Um, you, well, some of them are just museum mat, for example, with one click it's there. Um, and, oh, look at this. Excuse me, but you didn't save your beautiful changes. This is one of the things that differentiates PicMonkey. This isn't just a plain, I have to edit my photos. People really compliment us all the time about how delightful PicMonkey is. They come and they have an experience. They come and engage and have fun and they laugh when they're using the product. That's one of the big differentiators. So um, again, this just goes back to connecting with your users and making something that's a little bit different. Oh, and we have a collage tool, which we have a lot of issues right now with that that are patent pending, or a lot of features that are patent pending. Uh, you can autofill, drag your images within it. You can add a filter with one of, in one of the cells. Um, 
you can drag and drop images. And this is where the kind of the fun stuff is. That we just anywhere you want, drag it in. Boop, 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 boop. Squeeze it. There we go. Um, oh, but boss, you didn't save all your glorious changes. Again, we're just there to be helpful and delightful. We have a rut row shaggy. Um, so everything in Hunt Monkey is funny and delightful, but it's powerful, it's helpful, and it's fun. And I think when you're looking at a consumer space, you have to differentiate yourself. PicMonkey was not the first photo editor, but it certainly is one of the favorite out there. Um, so thank you. That was the fastest demo we could ever get in. This was like the most There's so much in there. I could go on for hours. Um, do you have any questions? How did you grow so fast? How did you add the members so quickly? Sure, that's a great question. So um, there was a photo editor before us um, that was purchased by Google. It was called Picnic. And when Google uh, made the strategic decision to close some products for strategic reasons to really focus on some of their bigger bets, um, it left a huge vacuum in the marketplace. Um, and so we saw that vacuum. And so we went and founded PicMonkey. And so there was a lot of... Um, um, users that we had from there. We also did a lot of stalking. So a lot of people, when Picnic closed down, um, it was that jo joke from LB1 Kenobi in Star Wars when he, that, that planet blew up in 60 million voices. That was pretty, pretty much what happened when Picnic closed. So we went out and stalked all those people that were sad about Picnic's closure and said, hey, we've got a solution for you. Come try out PicMonkey. So there was kind of a twofold. One was just there was this huge vacuum in the market, and two, we stopped those people that were very sad. Speaking of Google, uh, I know. <laughs> not to be awkward. Uh, it's we'll okay. Stop. We used to work together. <laughs> For the sake of Q and A, uh, all the presenters will be here and available afterwards. But uh, one of the rules is, if you go over, we're gonna have to limit the Q and A. I know I'm the bad man here. Let's hear it again for Pig Man. Pig Monkey.